Hey, what's up, guys? Gonna be doing a movie review today, and that is Back to the Future. Came out in 1985, and it stars Michael J. Fox, Christopher Lloyd, Leia Thompson, and Crispin Glover. It was directed by Robert Zemeckis. It was written by Bob Gale, and it was produced by Steven Spielberg. It's a classic film. It's a film that is just timeless. You know, every time you watch this film, you always discover something new about it. At least for me, anyway. It's just part of my childhood. I had great memories growing up watching this film. Saw this in theater back in the day. It was a really great experience seeing that in theater. But... It's, it's just one of those films that it never gets old. It's always, every time you watch it, it always feels like, you know, it's like a new movie almost. It's just, it's just so refreshing, such a rich story. It's, it's so well written. You know, it has such a good heart to it. And it's really funny too. But the story, it's about this kid named Marty McFly. And he's friends with this scientist who his name is uh, Doc Brown and Doc Brown has invented a time machine out of a DeLorean and he's trying to test it out for the first time and he tests you know the DeLorean out with uh, his dog Einstein and it was a success you know he went through time you know and so Doc Brown is going to test it on himself afterwards but he did some shady business with a bunch of people and they're trying to retaliate and they eventually, you know, they shoot him and he dies, you know, and they kill him. And so Marty, you know, gets into the uh, DeLorean, tries to escape and these guys are trying to go after Marty and, you know, he goes 88 miles per hour and he goes straight into the past because his present time is 1985 and he goes into the past with the DeLorean in 1955 and this is during a time period when his parents first met each other and Doc Brown you know first time he invented time travel he invented the flux capacitor and so what happens is that Marty ends up bumping into his parents when they're younger and there's repercussions you know he altered time by doing that because they didn't meet the way they were supposed to meet you know instead of his father meeting his you know his mother instead <laughs> his mother meets you know Marty McFly you know her son and you know, she doesn't know, of course, you know, but she's infatuated with him. <laughs> so <laughs> he's got to change that, you know, <laughs> he's got to fix that, you know, so they can meet each other and fall in love. And, you know, because what happens is when you change and alter time, there's repercussions. And what happens is that he will eventually be erased from existence because they'll never meet and he won't exist, you know? Because he has this photograph of him and his brother and sister and slowly they are fading away. And eventually he's going to fade away in the picture as well and then, you know, he'll be erased. So Doc Brown, you know, he meets up with Doc Brown and, you know, tells him, you know, everything and... Doc Brown, you know, he's going to help him. But he can't, you know, he can't use, uh, it's like a plutonium that, you know, that's how the car, you know, operates, this DeLorean. And they don't have that there in 1955. And it's hard to come by. So the only way to get Marty, you know, back to his present time in 1985 is to uh, 
channel uh, lightning through the flux capacitor. There's this historic uh, lightning, it was like a, a lightning storm that hit the, the lightning hit the, the clock tower in 1955. So, if he can just get his DeLorean and hit, you know, at that very moment when the lightning hits the clock tower, he can, if it hits the uh, DeLorean, you know, it can, you know, once it hits the flux the capacitor, he can... It, it would work. It would it actually send him back, you know, to his present time. And that's what Doc is trying to help him with. But he's, he's got to fix everything because it's just crazy. After, you know, since he changed things, you know, his parents are not getting together like they were supposed to. But it's, it actually works out well, you know. You know, his father, George McFly... He becomes more confident and, you know, stands up for himself and fights back against Biff, which is the bully. And, you know, Lorraine, which is his mom, she falls in love with him that way because he stood up for himself and he protected her. And, that, yeah, that's pretty much, you know, it's a... It's a one of those movies that, you know, there's so many memorable scenes in that, you know, a lot of memorable quotes, definitely, like, Great Scott, this is heavy, you know, if you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything, that's a great line, there's so many great things to say about this film, you know, really got me into skateboarding this film a lot of product placement with Pepsi and all that stuff there's, there's a lot of things that are just memorable about this the, the special effects are cool the the car is cool the DeLorean the music the, the score it has a driving theme to it it's probably my favorite one of my favorites uh music scores. I actually have the soundtrack on CD. And it's just, there's so many great things. My name is Doc Vader. <laughs> I'm an extraterrestrial from the planet Vulcan. <laughs> there's just a lot of great things. 1.1.1 gigawatts. I think that's what he says. <laughs> what the hell's a gigawatt? <laughs> it's just, it's a really, really funny movie. And it just, you know, has a lot of heart to it. It's, I wish they made more movies like this, honestly, that was refreshing and new and innovative and different. You know, this is one of those films. This is why it's such a classic, why it's so memorable. You know, they, you know, the people that were involved making this film, they wanted to make it just right. They were perfectionists, definitely, because when they first made this film, when they were filming it, they had a different actor that was playing Mari McFly. Eric Stoltz was playing Mari McFly instead of Michael J. Fox. Because at the time, Michael J. Fox was doing Family Ties, so he had other commitments at the time. And they always wanted Michael to play Mari McFly. But their second choice was Eric Stoltz. And they filmed it for about a month and a half with Eric Stoltz. And during the dailies, they just weren't getting that, you know, they, they just weren't getting the laughs from Eric Stoltz because he was playing it too serious for a comedy. You know, he didn't have that comedic flair. You know, the comedic timing, I guess, he just, he just wasn't a right fit, you know, for the part. So they fired him. And then, I guess, 
they got lucky and you know they allowed Michael to you know do family ties during the day and then do back to future at night so it all worked out well and we got this you know great film that you know it's a really special film to me you know you know it's just part of my childhood and it never gets old to me it's it's just a great film so yeah I mean I, I like all the characters you know Mari McFly Doc Brown Lorraine you know George McFly Biff all great characters so memorable why don't you make like a tree and get out of here <laughs> There's a lot of great lines in this. But yeah, I mean, definitely a classic film. And it was one of those movies after seeing it and the, the ending, it had, you know, to be continued. And it was like, wow, the, you know, it, it was like I was anticipating for the sequel. Even though they weren't planning to make a sequel. Actually, originally it was just a gag. It was just a joke to put the to be continued at the end of the film. They weren't intending to make a sequel, but, you know, with, you know, demand, you know, from fans, they decided to, you know, make a sequel. And I don't understand why the DVD and Blu-ray does not have the to be continued at the end of this film. I don't know why. It's only on the VHS. If you, you know, look online, you know, the Back to the Future VHS ending, you'll see the to be continued. I don't know why they took that off. It doesn't make any sense, but, you know, that just got you, you know, interested in seeing the sequel. And I love the way the film ends, too, you know. You know, Doc Brown comes back and he's like, Marty, you gotta come back with me. It's like, where? Back to the future. And he's gotta take his girlfriend. You know, Marty McFly's gotta take his girlfriend with him because there's something wrong, you know. They gotta do something about their kids, you know. <laughs> so he's gotta go to 2015 to, you know, fix what's wrong in 2015 with his kids. <laughs> And this famous line from Doc Brown, he's like, roads, where we're going, we don't need roads. And the tires turn around and the, you know, DeLorean, you know, lifts up. It's a flight DeLorean now. So it can, it can fly. And it just ends that way. It's such a classic ending. And that to be continued on the VHS ending, it was just... It was so cool. So yeah. It's, this is a really great film. A great trilogy too. I mean they don't make them like this anymore. Where all the films were great. I mean it's very rare. When you know. A franchise actually. All the films are good. It's It doesn't really happen. Too much nowadays. But yeah. This is my movie review of Back to the Future. Hope you enjoy this movie review, and I hope you guys have a good day. Take it easy.